Good morning. So <clears throat> before we start, um, I wanted to share a thought with you about loving kindness uh, and my own experience with the practice. Um, specifically about the first stage of the loving kindness. Of course, the loving kindness has several different stages. The, the in the first stage, we cultivate a sense of loving kindness and we try to direct that to ourselves. Uh, now, I was speaking with Shakya Pada actually about this uh, recently, <clears throat> about the fact that quite often people have a bit of a difficulty with the first stage um, for various reasons. Uh, but one of the reasons very often is that the first stage for many people feels like a selfish stage. It feels selfish to cultivate and direct loving kindness to oneself. So what we know is that Buddhism says that in a perfectly enlightened being, um, loving kindness is unbounded, is unlimited. And it's actually uh, the same amount, it's an infinite amount, but because of that it's the same amount towards everyone that participates, that is part of our loving kindness circle. Uh, it's the same amount towards ourselves, towards our friend, towards the neutral person, towards the difficult person, and so forth. And uh, so it's important to remember that the first stage is actually uh, not only it's a difficult one, but it's a, in a way a good test to check how well our loving kindness uh, progress is, is going. And particularly if you have issues with this, um, with this topic of the first stage feeling uh, like a selfish, a selfish stage, then don't feel like you're alone. It happens to everyone. And maybe the, at least the initial solution, you may be very creative in coming up to, with solutions to that, but at least the initial solution to that, one could be to actually uh, embrace in loving kindness that being, you, you yourself, that is feeling like uh, actually the first stage is selfish. So I just wanted to start with that thought uh, about the first stage. And uh, now I think we're coming up to 8.04, so it's time to start <coughs> the formal meditation. And to start, I would invite you to take up a relaxed posture, wherever you are. Closing your eyes if it feels comfortable and appropriate. Taking up a posture that allows you to be relaxed and alert. Sometimes people, when they, especially when they start doing meditation, they tend to fall asleep. And uh, in a way, that is a good sign. It means that they're relaxing. But remember that the goal of meditation is not to fall asleep. It is to fall awake, to wake up.
So taking up a relaxed posture, wherever you are, whether it's on a chair, on a cushion, or on your bed, ideally with your spine upright. And start by relaxing your shoulders, your jaw, relaxing your belly, your diaphragm. Relax your throat, your neck and the back of your neck. Relax your face, your forehead, your eyes. Your eyebrows, relax your legs. Relax your whole body. If it helps, you can take a few longer and deeper breaths. And now start the formal meditation by paying attention for a few seconds to the physicality of your body, where your body is in contact with the chair or the ground or your bed.
as best you can, letting go of the tendency that we all have to want things to be different, the tendency to want I think of the craving, that desire of this meditation to be good, to be a certain way. Meditation is not about feeling a certain way. It's about feeling the way you feel. Relaxing in the present moment. And in the first stage of the loving-kindness meditation, directing the feeling of loving-kindness towards ourselves, towards us. Try to find out where in the body your loving kindness is. What color does it have? What shape? Being creative and open. And attending to that feeling directing it towards ourselves. In direct contact with that feeling.
May I be well. May I be safe. May I be healthy. May I be at peace. the second phase of the loving kindness meditation we direct uh, our loving kindness towards a friend Again, being creative in our practice. If you feel that your loving kindness is a cloud that expands and envelops your friend, let that happen. If it's a hug, hug your friend. If it's just you sitting together with your friend, directing loving kindness, let that happen. Just attending to the feeling of loving kindness and directing it towards our friend.
May you be well. May you be safe. May you be healthy. May you be at peace. In the third phase of uh, the Metta Bhavana, we direct our loving kindness towards a neutral person. This is usually a person that we barely know. Maybe somebody that we see at the supermarket quite often or on our way to work or at the bus stop. We may not know anything about them, but obviously they are human beings as well, with their hopes, their dreams, their ups and downs, the good days, the bad days. All of the things that we can easily relate to. And so for a time we direct our loving kindness towards the neutral person. May you be well, may you be safe, may you be healthy, 
May you be at peace. In the fourth stage of the Metta Bhavana, we direct uh, our loving kindness to a difficult person. It's best here to choose a person that is somewhat difficult, but not too difficult. What we're doing is not denying that we have some difficult feelings towards this person, but we are acknowledging that we also have some at least neutral or positive feelings towards this person. And for a time, we decide to attend to those positive feelings, to that loving kindness towards the difficult person. Even if it's very subtle, even if we're not really sure that it's really there, even if it comes and goes, May you be well, may you be safe, may you be healthy, may you be at peace.
in the final stage of the loving kindness meditation we bring all of those people together us our friend the neutral person and the difficult person and we attend to the feeling of loving kindness directing it towards all of us together and seeing how much it can expand maybe it can go beyond those people well beyond May we be safe, may we be healthy, may we be happy, may we be at peace. And as we approach the end of the formal meditation, let's uh, become aware again of what's surrounding us, the noises around us, the temperature of the air on our skin, can wiggle our fingers and our toes start to move the body gently if it feels appropriate you can take a few a few deeper and longer breaths
and finally opening your eyes. This brings to an end our period of formal meditation. I want to thank you all and I hope it was a nice way to start your Friday. I'm just going to leave you with one thought. Um, if you did find something surprising or something pleasant during the meditation, for me, for instance, today was a surprisingly strong feeling of stillness, then maybe bring it back to mind every now and then today when you have the chance, just appreciating the goodness that meditation brings to our life. So thank you very much again for attending today and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.